units of less than 120 as volume of a cylinder. So the way to imagine how to find the volume of a cylinder is you think of taking a quarter and pushing it down through a block of soft clay. When you pull out what you get, you end up with this cylinder. So the, the volume of the cylinder, which is the inside, is the same as the area of my circle times by the height, because I've pushed it all the way through the clay. Okay. So on this one, we have the diameter of this cylinder is 20 centimeters. Its height is 10 centimeters. What is the volume? So first we need to find out what the area of the circle is. And you remember, area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. So I need to first solve, figure out what r is. Well, if my diameter is 20, radius is half of the diameter. So that means my radius is going to be equal to 10. So that's going to be 3.14 times 10 squared. So 10 squared is 100. So we're going to multiply 3.14 by 100, which is equal to 314 centimeters squared. Okay. I'm going to take that 314 centimeters and I'm going to multiply that by my height. Okay, because the area the volume of a cylinder, volume of a cylinder is equal to the area of a circle times by the height. Okay. So I found the area of my circle, it's 314. I'm going to now multiply that by my height. The 314 times by 10 is equal to 3140 centimeters cubed. Remember with volume we always cube the, the label. Do one more. So this large can of soup has a diameter of about 8 centimeters and a height of 12 centimeters. The volume of the can is how many cubic centimeters? And then it wants us to round it to the nearest 100 cubic centimeters. So let's go ahead and do the math. So I first need to find the radius. And the radius is half of the diameter, so that's going to be 4. So my area of my circle is going to equal 3.14 and times that by 16 squared. Okay, so 16 squared is, oh excuse me, 4 squared, which is 16. We'll divide that with 16. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the math. 3.14 multiply by 16. 6 times 4 is 24, carry my 2, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2 is 8, 6 times 3 is 18, 0, 4, 1, 3. Add those together, end up with 4, 2, carry the 1, 0, carry the 1, 3, 4, 5. And then 2 decimal places over. So my, the area of my circle is 550.24 centimeters squared. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply that by my height. Okay. So remember the volume of your cylinder is equal to the area of the circle times the height. So I'm going to take fifty point two four and multiply that by twelve. Now it wants us to round it to the nearest 100 cubic centimeters, so I can actually go ahead and round this up to 50 and multiply 50 by 12 to get my answer, since I'm rounding it anyway. So I end up with 0, 5 times 2 is 10, carry my 1, 5 times, five is, five times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. So my volume is 600 centimeters cubed. And that's all. Good luck on your homework.